Hi guys, welcome to the ET Land. Today I'm going to address a serious issue about ROG Ally. And um, first of all, I just want to make sure you know that first, I'm not in favor of Aces, so I do not receive any benefit from them, and I'm not speaking for them. But uh, I also want you to understand that I am not here to blame anyone. So when you watch this video, just make sure you bear that in mind. And without further saying, let's dive into this video. Okay, so if you're watching this video, I assume you already know this problem, so I just briefly talk about it. It's just admitted that uh, because of some kind of thermal stress, that it may condition the SD card reader and make it malfunction. So we all know about this problem right now, and I haven't experienced this problem, and 70% of my viewers didn't experience this problem too. Um, but for the rest, 30% of my viewer, they experienced this and I'm really sorry about this. So, first of all, let's think about why this problem happened. Or let's say, why didn't we experience this problem? This problem happened because the SD card slot is located right next to the ventilation, which the device can heat up. Uh, right at the position of the SD card slot and therefore if we push it to like 30 wattage and uh, play for an extended period of time it will get burned so that's basically what happened if we look at other devices like INL Air they actually have the SD card slot under the ventilation so it won't get heated like the Asus ROG Ally. Apart from the location of SD card slot, there are a few people reporting that after updating to BIOS 319 or BIOS 322, it actually worsened the heat, dissipation, and because of that, their SD card slot didn't work. But I do have a few doubts for that because for me, I also updated to the latest BIOS. I'm on 3.2.2 right now and I'm still not experiencing this situation. And I think it is because of other reasons and I'm going to talk about that right now. So I understand that it is not ideal to place the SD card slot right next to the ventilation. But there is one thing you may also miss is the ambient temperature. Nowadays, it gets 35 degrees Celsius easily in room temperature. It is summer right now and it gets very hot. There are many places experiencing 40 degrees Celsius or even higher. And that means even though we are not doing anything or the device is not turned on anyway, the room for example is heated up to 33 degrees Celsius and that means the cooling effect of that device is not going to be as good as during winter, during spring or autumn because it is already hot. If you still remember, actually last year, Nintendo also talked about be careful of the hot weather because that may potentially damage the Nintendo Switch. And this is actually a common problem for handhelds as well. Unless a desktop PC, they have big fans and strong fans, we are working on a small device, which means it is harder to ventilate and to cool down the device. And if we bring it to a hotter environment with a good ventilation and temperature control, that will worsen the situation. Just think about all those server rooms in the big companies. They pay a good amount of money to cool down the whole room to keep it at a stable temperature because this is a problem for many devices 
can imagine if you bring your ROG Ally to your car and leave it on your car for a few minutes, for example, and then the car is at 40 degrees Celsius. When you get back, you want to play a few moments and you find that it turn on and it get very hot. That's because it was already heat up in your car and you do not have to do anything, it just already be preheat. So, therefore, what I'm trying to say is that we have to have good temperature control when we use our devices. Just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. For example, I would not recommend anyone to bring your ROG Ally to the beach and play it under the sun during summer because this is too hot for your device and this is not an ideal situation. And if you are going to push your device at 30 wattage under that situation, I really don't think your SD card slot is going to survive. For me myself, I work at home for most of the time and I usually turn on my AC during daytime because it's super hot out there and um, when I play my ROG Ally with AC on, it will just work fine and it won't get that hot but if I do not turn on my AC, I can tell that it can get quite warm or sometimes hot so I would definitely recommend you to turn on the AC to just to keep the room temperature at an appropriate temperature for your ROG Ally as well as other electric apparatus Secondly, if you read those comments uh, on the videos about SD card slots problems on our OG Ally, you'll probably see the majority of the people experiencing this problem are the people who pushes their device at 30 wattage or namely turbo mode. So most of them said that after playing a period of time at turbo mode, the device get hot and then their SD card slot just died. And um, regarding this, I have never pushed my device at 30 wattage. One, because I do not play all those intense games. Of course, I have uh, Hotworks Legacy and Monster Hunter Rise, something like that. And I also emulate higher end uh, games. So, for example, I use Yuzu or Ryu Jeans, but uh, those would work fine on 50 mod. And I, because I know that uh, for PC handhelds, it is very general problem that it will get very hot so in order to prevent that situation um, I actually decided to keep it at 15 wattage no matter what so that I can have a better battery life and to prevent any heat issue again we have the freedom to push it to 30 wattage to the turbo mode but we also have to consider the situation where we are using it, whether it is under high temperature in the environment as well as on the device. If we feel that the device is getting quite hot, we should really stop playing it and let it cool down. This is the same way we should handle other devices. So if you want to play some more advanced games and you want to keep it at a lower wattage the thing you can do is to lower the resolution and lower the fps so that you can play at a lower fps but you can still prevent the heat issues my third suggestion is that never put your heavy games triple a games on your sd card um, on my SD card, I only have ROMs for emulation and some other save files that uh, I use to back up from my other devices. I never put PC games on my SD card and that is because I know 
um, when we have to read and write with the SD card, it will get very hard. Sometimes if you use a uh, USB or uh, SD card readers, you know that the SD card readers can get very hard. And the same situation actually happened inside your ROG Ally. So first, the ventilation is very close to the SD card slot and the weather is hot. So your SD card reader is already getting very hot because of that and if it has to read and write vigorously because you are playing some kind of triple A games, of course it will get overheat. I mean, there is a limitation for read and write speed of your SD card and if those games are very he heavy then you will push the SD card and the SD card reader to its limitation and that is totally not ideal so my suggestion is if you want to play some games that are heavy triple A games and it is uh, it uses a large memory push it on your SSD instead of your SD card because SSD has a higher read and write speed and it has a better heat dissipation than just a SD card. So um, that's my suggestion for you to prevent viewing your SD card slot and uh, I really hope everyone who had the problem can kind of fix it and will not experience that in the future. I really love my ROG Ally so far. I have had it for a month now and I have been enjoying it every single second and I think SD card slot could be a major issue but these are the things that we can do to prevent the problem and I really think uh, the release date of ROG Ally is in the summer and that actually made the situation worse. Last but not least, there are items with fan that can help to cool down your device. Um, so there are dock with fan and there are extra fan that you can add onto your ROG Ally. These items are for Steam Deck but it also work on ROG Ally. The links to these products are listed in my description box so if you are interested you can take a look at that. But I have to say that I personally do not use them because first I am not going to push my device at turbo mode at all and second I have a good temperature control in the environment while I'm using my ROG Ally and therefore I do not need extra cooling. But it would be useful if you are living in a hot area and you may not have good ventilation in this area that you are using it, then maybe it would be a good idea to add extra cooling power to your device. So that's pretty much about the four things that we can do to prevent the heat damage to our SD card slot on our OG Ally. And I really hope that no one will have that problem anymore in the future. And I'm also looking forward to the update of the new BIOS that can try to ease this problem. Um, so this is actually not the video I planned for this week, but anyway, this is a severe situation and I think we should deal with it as soon as possible. So I will see you in my next video and stay tuned. Bye!